All right, Nailville Foodies, and we are back again with another video tutorial. But before you do anything, I need you to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button right now. Also, hit the notification buttons because you don't want to miss what is coming out of Nailville. And so, guys, first I want to apologize in advance for my voice. Um, I've been having some respiratory issues, a lot of coughing and congestion, but we're going to get through this today, honey. Change of the season, and you know that body be changing. But anyways, for our ingredients. Now, what I'm making is, and I did this on my uh, TikTok, uh, a grinder sandwich. And basically, a grinder sandwich is um, it's, it's a salad. The grinder part is... The salad that you put on a sub and so we're going to be doing a kind of like chicken club grinder salad but without the bacon and so for our ingredients of course we have some chicken tenders we actually have turkey and ham but I'm just going to be using the turkey we have our lettuce our cheese we have a uh, red wine vinegar our mayo we have some chopped black olives some um, banana peppers we have Italian seasoning we have oregano seasoning and also you can also ha add red onions but I forgot so that's okay so the first thing what we want to do is decide how we're going to cook these chicken tenders um, I was gonna put them in the oven and then I changed my mind I said I think I want to just throw them in the deep fryer and so I took about four of those chicken tenders because that sub we're gonna be doing a whole foot long um, and so I threw those in the deep fryer and while they were frying up, I'm getting my grinder salad prepared. And so um, to my bowl, I'm adding about one cup of mayo and it could be any brand you like, honey. It's your kitchen. Do what you want. I personally, I like Duke's mayonnaise. Um, and so to that mayonnaise, we're also going to add about three tablespoons of red wine vinegar and I will also make sure I put the ingredients in my comments um, because really guys I don't measure um, I kind of know what everything is just kind of by looking at it from cooking so long but I will definitely put the measurements um, in the comments I also have a small can of chopped olives now you can get the round ones but this does better when you put it on the sandwich and basically the olives and the tomatoes that I'm adding this is my own preference you can make this the basis is the mayo the red wine vinegar and your uh, banana peppers um, anything else basically you're just kind of making it your own and so um, as you see I'm adding a few banana peppers I also have some grape tomatoes that I'm going to slice a few in half um, that way I don't have to slice regular tomatoes and put it on the sandwich honey we putting it all in this bowl okay um, and then for our seasonings I have some ground oregano and we're gonna put about I would say about a, a good teaspoon of ground oregano um, and then we're going to put about a good uh, tablespoon of our Italian seasoning um, and this is really important in this grinder sandwich because I think it is um, kind of Italian however um, like I said it's it's your kitchen honey do what you want if you don't like it don't put it in uh, also at this point you would add red onions but I didn't have any but that's okay honey because this sandwich was still busting and so basically I'm going ahead and mixing it up and kind of tasting it to see um, if I need to add any more red wine vinegar or anything any seasonings guys it was perfect and so now I'm just gonna add my bag of lettuce and that's the regular bag of lettuce that's not that big the double bag and so we're getting all of this lettuce in and the thing about this um, salad is even if you don't use it all guys you can just eat salad like you don't even have to put meat in it like this is really a salad and it is so so good but it's just really good you know on these sub sandwiches and so now we're just getting everything mixed together um looks really really good you could add a little bit of salt and pepper if you want to but me personally i didn't think it needed anything and so now we're going to cut 
our French bread. Um, and normally, um, the video I did on TikTok, I did toast my bread with my cheese on it. However, I didn't want to toast this bread because I didn't want my bread hard. Um, I also don't like soggy bread. But here's the thing. This bread is thick enough to where it won't get soggy with your grinder salad. So it works out perfect, even if you don't want to toast it. And so what I'm doing, I'm hollowing out the bottom part of it because, uh, one, it's a lot of bread. But second, it's because it's going to hold my cheese and chicken tenders better. And I put the chicken tenders in a deep fry because I knew those chicken tenders, because I'm not putting it in the oven, it was going to melt that cheese. And so um, we put, and that was pepper jack cheese. I'm also going to get out some American slices because I did want um, some more cheese. I thought I had some sliced cheddar, regular cheddar, but I didn't. But that's okay, honey. We got that American, and that's just going to be what it's going to do, okay? And so, um, and if your chicken is weird, you see I cut, uh, I tore that um, down on the end to make it kind of fit, and I put that cheese on there. And now, this is our turkey. Now, if you have bacon, this is the perfect time to put your bacon on, then put your turkey. But I didn't want to do bacon. We're trying to stay away from pork, and so um, we omitted the bacon so yeah if you want to add bacon and onions make sure you do that and so now that we have our turkey on now it's time to add our salad our grinder salad back to or onto um our sub sandwich and as you see i y'all i piled it on there i didn't have to pile it on there that much but that salad is so good okay um and it's not you know, it, it was kind of the perfect amount. It's not, like, runny. So, it just, I mean, it does. Once you push it push it down, some of it will fall off. But that's okay. Because most of it is going to stay on um, because it's pretty thick. And so, now we're going to get this cut up, guys. And I'm trying to show you all both sides. And after we get this cut up, I'm going to take a picture of what the sandwich looks like finally and guys y'all when i tell you this sandwich was the bomb okay i don't want another sub sandwich without this chicken on it baby listen it was fire y'all look at that y'all it tastes even better than it looks i promise you Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on TikTok. Remember, be blessed. And, honey, it's your kitchen. Do what you want.